All right, let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hey, guys. Just wondering about some of this talk about getting rid of Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry. Under no circumstances should the Browns even be thinking about getting rid of Kevin Stefanski or Andrew Barry, even after whatever we're going to do with Deshaun Watson. Those two have never had the chance to draft the quarterback they want and develop him. They have always inherited quarterbacks or having to trade for one, and we all know that Jimmy Haslam was behind the trade. That is a good coach and a good GM and they deserve the chance to stay here. That's the problem. We have never really had stability, and we have with those two. That's just my thought. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Um, Eric K., I, again, there's the, all the theories that Jimmy Haslam wanted Deshaun Watson. I, I don't know about that. Um, I do know that I think Andrew Berry and Kevin Stefanski are good at what they do. Um, the Deshaun Watson trade doesn't look great right now, but – you can't repeatedly change head coaches and GMs or you end up in the 30-year cycle we were in from 99 until Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Berry came here. Deshaun Watson would not be here if Andrew Berry and Kevin Stefanski did not want him here. I mean, they went down there and talked Deshaun Watson into wanting to come here and they sold it hard. There's no way that he would be here right now if they didn't want him. Now, Jimmy, of course, signed off on the money, and he probably had a lot to do with the $230 million fully guaranteed, uh, but this was not his idea and his mandate for them to trade for Deshaun Watson, and that's just an erroneous perception that is being promulgated out there. 